What is up guys? I am Joseph, this is Joseph's Place, and welcome to another installment of my Barbarian Assault video series where I just kind of go over and explain this minigame as a whole. Now in this episode we're going to go over the Queen fight, which is for wave 10, which is the only wave that's very mechanically different than the other waves. So we're going to go over it and kind of explain what you need to do for each of the roles in order to complete this wave without too much difficulty. Now you may have looked at it before and thought it's very confusing and I just don't understand it. And honestly, once you get used to it and once it's explained well to you, it's very simple to remember and understand what you need to do. And that's what I'm going to try to do to, to help you in the next few minutes here. So to start off, you'll notice that even though the room layout is a little bit different, the general concept is the same for the first half of this wave. You need to keep doing what you've been doing in your role to get rid of your enemies. And about halfway through, the queen will arrive. However, you need to make sure you destroy the enemies or get rid of the enemies before then or very soon after, as you're not actually able to kill the queen and complete the wave until all of the little enemies are gone. So it's best to get those out of the way as soon as possible so you don't have to worry about it when the queen arrives. So I'm not going to go over the first half, as you should be very experienced with that over the first nine waves. However, once the queen arrives, there are very, very different mechanics in order to kill the queen. So again, once the queen arrives from the middle of the map, you'll need to do very specific things in order to kill her. And it may sound confusing, but just bear with me. It is relatively simple to remember what you need to do. So to start off, I want to say that everyone should probably group around the healer pool as it's the easiest way for the healers to keep you healthy. Uh, the only exception is the one person who asked to actually do their job uh, throughout this part of the wave. So to start off, the collector has the first job. They need to collect the yellow eggs from under the queen. Now, one way I like to do this is I have the better healer with the higher hit points or the better healing to follow the collector around to make sure they stay healthy. However, it's not entirely necessary as you can run back and forth whenever you need to. But the collector needs to collect some of these yellow eggs that will be transformed into Omega eggs and then shot at the queen. Now the amount you'll need, it varies between four and eight. And that actually depends because I believe the way it works is if two people press fire at the same time, it can fire one egg but hits twice. That's what I've kind of noticed with the mechanics. It may be a bug, but you're able to do it with just four eggs. However, if you only fire one at a time and it just does one damage, you need eight. So between four and eight, depending on how comfortable you and your team are with this mini game. So again, the collector needs to pick up these from underneath the queen and then bring them back and then hand them off to the healer. Now, this is where it's going to start to get a little confusing, so I'm going to get ahead of myself a little bit. The order that you need to hand off this egg to is very simple to remember if you can remember the word CHAD, C-H-A-D, from collector to healer to attacker to defender, and then it just goes back to the collector. So it has to go in this very specific order as each roll needs to do one specific thing to the egg. So the, he the collector collects the egg and hands them to the healer. Now what the healer does is dip them into the poison. And the easiest way I can remember this is by remembering that the healer has a green icon and the poison is green. So green matches with green. Very um, straightforward to remember and it makes it a little bit less confusing. So once the healer uses the eggs onto the poison, they then need to use their eggs on the attacker to give the eggs to the attacker. And the attacker needs to put spikes on this egg. These spikes are obtained from the mushrooms scattered throughout the map. And it is actually a good idea for the attacker to go out and start collecting these spikes whenever they have a free moment to. So even if the collector is still collecting the eggs, you can gather spikes. That way you don't have to do it later on. So again, as the attacker, once you get the eggs from the healer, you just use the spikes on the eggs and then you're done. So if you have four to eight spikes in your inventory, it takes you seconds to finish that. So then once you put the spikes on the egg, you need to give your egg to the defender the D part of Chad. So then once the defender has the eggs, they use the eggs on the lava, which is the only thing left to use. So use the eggs on the lava, getting the Omega egg, and then giving that egg back to the collector, putting it in the gun and shooting. So it is relatively simple as long as you can remember Chad, collector, healer, attacker, defender. And then you can just remember that green matches with green, healer, poison, attacker, spikes, and that one's pretty straightforward. And then the only thing left is the defender to dip it in the lava. 
So again, very straightforward and it's really not that difficult. I've done it many times and I can understand that people can get confused, but using these little tips to kind of remember what to do makes it a lot smoother and a lot easier. So that is what you need to do in order to get the Omega egg to shoot at the queen. Just a few different tips to use are uh, just make sure, again, you are staying by that healer pool as it's so much easier to stay healthy if everyone is in the same place because you will be taking constant damage from the queen who attacks everyone at the same time and it can hit relatively high. So you may need to get some healing, especially if you have low hit points. But other than that, there's really not too many instructions or really nothing else that goes into this queen. You just pass this egg around, buff it up, and then blow that bitch up. And once the queen is dead, you're finished. The wave's over and you'll get your points and then you can spend them. As some of the rewards require you to kill one queen, at least one queen. So once you've killed the queen, you can spend your points on whatever you can afford. So that is it for the queen video. So again, if you needed help with the penance queen, I hope this helped you. If you have any more questions, leave them in the, the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. But that is it for this video. Hope it helped you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.